design a Turing machine for for two complement of a binary number. Now let us see how we'll find a com two complement of a binary number. Consider an example one zero zero one zero zero. Now how will you can find the two complement? Yes, two complement. Two complement. First. Check out the zeros. Don't disturb the zeros at this side, at the least significant bits. Then, when you come across a one, the first one is placed as such. So, when you move from least significant bit, the zeros are placed as such, and the first one bit. Which you come across is replaced is placed as one itself. The remaining all ones complement is considered. So zero one zero one one zero. So this is the two's complement of this number. This is the two's complement of this number. Now we are going to implement this in this Turing. Mission. Now let us consider this example. Now in the tape, I'll have my series like this. Now my tape header will be here. Okay. Now my tape header will start moving right. It will start moving right until it encounters a blank space. Until it encounters a blank space. So one zero zero one zero zero B. Now until it encounters a blank space, it moves. Once it encounters a blank space, it moves left. It moves left. If it comes across zeros, no disturbance. Zeros is placed as zero. Again, if it is zero, no disturbance. Zero is placed as zero. The one which it come which it which it comes across, the first one which it comes across is placed as one. The first one which is come which it comes across is placed as one. Now the remaining now again it will move left. Again it will move left. So the first zero that it comes across after the first one is changed as one. Now my series. Will appear like this. My tape header is here. Now this will move here. Since it has crossed the first one, all the bits has to be changed. So this zero will be changed as one. So now my series will look like this. Now my tape header is here and it will move here. It will move here. So this one is replaced as zero. This one is replaced as zero, and my series will look like this. Okay. Now this moves and stops until it encounters a blank space. So now when it comes across a blank space, it stops, and the number is this. Okay, now we are going to frame a Turing machine, design a Turing machine for this. What is the initial state? Now, when it is Q naught, when it comes across any number of zeros, any number of ones, never mind, it will move right until it encounters a blank space. Once it encounters a blank space, it starts moving left. Okay, so this is my Q one. Now, when it moves left, if it is zeros, when it moves left, if it is zeros, zeros are maintained as zeros, and it will move left. Okay, zeros are maintained as zeros, and it moves left. Then, if it is one, the first one that it comes across is placed as such. The first one that it comes across is placed as such, and that is my Q two here. This state, the first one that it comes across is placed as such. Now, after this, 
after this when it comes across any zero it is replaced as one okay then it will move left if it comes across any one that one is replaced as zero and it will move left okay until it reaches a blank space until it reaches a blank space it moves once it reaches the blank space it starts moving right that's all okay so this is the end state that you come across which is Q 